Happy Friday, guys. Today's focus is building some more gymnastic strength. We're gonna be focusing on two different movements today. We're we'll focused on pull-ups and handstands uh, on the gymnastics on the Friday there. So uh, to start off, we're gonna be working on 30 strict pull-ups and 90 seconds of a plank on the rings. And we're gonna accumulate these reps and seconds in that plank. So um, you'll be given 15 minutes to work through these two movements. You can go at any order and break it up into any uh, set that you want. So for example, if you wanna do five of those strict pull-ups and then let's say 20 seconds of the plank, or if you wanna just do it 30 and then 90 seconds, up to you. Um, the goal of today is to work on that control, especially on the pull-up on the way down. So um, use a band if you need to, and then really control that descent on the way down all the way to full extension. Um, you can do strict pull-ups, you can do jumping pull-ups with a slow descent, use a band. If you need to use rings, you can use rings as well. I recommend if you've been working on a certain progression for a little while, change the angle, change the line of action a little bit so that you're getting a different stimulus today. If you worked on the rings a lot, try using the bar today, use a band for the first time or do some jumping pull-ups or vice versa as well. If you haven't used the rings in a little while, it might be worthwhile playing around with that, doing a slow negative on the way down. Remember, different line of action, different stimulus could help you out with your strength and your uh, overall pulling strength there. 90 second plank. What I want to see here is control those rings. So I want to see minimal movement of the rings. I want them to be as solid as if you were on the ground uh, doing that plank. Uh, if you need to go off the knees and just make sure you're staying in a nice uh, tight hollow body position, tucking the hips in, keeping the core engaged while you do that 90 seconds. And feel free to break it up however you like. After the workout, we've got seven rounds. Just rowing. We're gonna be doing one minute on of rowing, two minutes off. This one is for calories, so we're trying to accumulate as many calories as possible. This style of workout, uh, with that one to two ratio, we want to see you go out at a 90 to 100% effort on that interval each time. So it's not just an easy pace on the one minute and then two minutes off. Work for that two minutes off each time. This should suck every single minute as you do that one minute row. You should be out of breath, um, you feel in the legs, in the glutes, maybe a little bit in the arms through that pull, but mainly through your uh, breathing is where you're going to be taxed in this one. So really trying to get as many calories done as possible, maintaining good form all the way across the board. So don't sacrifice your back, keep yourself nice and upright and really maintain those um, proper rowing mechanics to get the most out of this row each time. Um, and again, we want to look for a 90 to hundred percent effort on each set. Try to maintain that across all seven rounds to get the best stimulus or the best dosage out of this workout. Hope you guys enjoy this one. We'll see you guys tomorrow.